Hey everybody, welcome back. I gotta tell you, I gotta tell you, I can't remember who I was, oh, I was playing Tainted Eden on stream yesterday, and would you look at that? <laughs> we we got a little bit done. Um, I, I feel like Tainted Eden is a little bit more of a stream type character, a stand type, if you will. We still have to do true, no, taint, oh my god, we gotta, <laughs> apologies for saying taint, followed by the words, oh my god, by the way. I'm ashamed of my words and my deeds. Um, we gotta do Alt Path, Boss Rush, Greedier. Three runs minimum. Well, I don't know. Can't you do Alt Path, Boss Rush? Because you go to Mausoleum. Eh, wait, whatever. Like, let's not worry about that too much. So we, we got Tainted uh, Kane. I kind of need chance help for that, I think. In, in Vivo. We got Tainted Lazarus. We got Tainted Eden. We got Tainted Lost. Dare I suggest, uh, it, obviously we have some uh, Tainted Jacob remaining as well. Dare I suggest that Tainted Lost is actually like the most fun of these characters. We have Dark Side, Mega Satan, Delirium, True Ending, Greedier. So Dark Path, the, the dream would be Dark Path, Mega Satan, Delirium. Or maybe true ending if the run doesn't turn out the way we want it to. But I don't know, man. Like, I'm not... First off, you only get good items as Tainted Lost, like Robo Baby 2.0. So we're a little bit ahead of the curve to begin with. Um, but yeah, I, I actually, like, some of the characters that remain, in fact, all of the characters that remain, uh, ex except the one, spike my acetylcholine. You know, the, the neurotransmitter uh, that, that codes for anger. Um, similarly, uh, it spikes my cortisol, you know, the, the endocrine compound. I guess a hormone is just the word you'd use for that. That, that uh, contributes to stress levels and lowers your lifespan. Uh, tainted Lost, I, I feel nothing but freedom and bliss. I don't know what to say. Um, I, you know, it's a character with a very easy to understand methodology. They are typically strong, which is awesome. They just do die in one to two hits, depending on the way you got things set up. Um, and I was, okay, I mean, I'm not upset with that, to be honest, but I was saving my bombs because there is, uh, I mean, there's a Tinted Rock. There's also an Isaac's Room. Uh, and an Isaac's Room... I'm trying to think. I, I think I'm better off, like, not even shooting here. But uh, an Isaac's room is a little wonky as the Lost. I think we... And, and also, like, if we get an error room, it, it screws things up, right? Like, it, it takes us an extra floor downwards and we have no choice. All right, let me put it this way. A black market isn't a black market anymore, right? Like, black markets are... Um, our error rooms by accident, accidentally on purpose. I know it sounds like I'm spinning my wheels here, but sincerely, something's not right there. Um, we can buy, I mean, for 15 cents, man, you gotta look at more options. Probably a secret room there with only two bombs and no real means to get more. I hate to say it, but two bombs means we don't go into the Isaac's room. It's just a bad decision. Um, we, we, what? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Um, it, it's a bad decision just because we, we literally, what are we going to do? Sleep in the bed and recover all of our zero HP? I think we just buy more options. We get the heck out of town and we remember that we're still looking for like Mega Satan and we're still looking for, uh, for the dark path and possibly delirium and possibly all that other stuff. We'll do our best anyway. Tainted Lazarus, extremely annoying. Underpowered, you know, you can make it work, don't get me wrong, and, and that would probably be my next guess for who we'll play as. Um, Tainted Jacob is just, I find it fun, but it's also like, it, it's like living in a, a Halloween movie. Like the, the franchise Halloween, not like, I'm not calling horror movies Halloween movies, although that's a that's a cool little idea for a micro character, right? Oh man, I saw this awesome Halloween movie at the theaters this week. Yeah, it was like one of the best Halloween movies I've ever seen. It was called A Quiet Place. Wow, it's so spooky, man. 
and all the people in the theater were munching their dang popcorn should be imprisoned for life. Sorry, this is deep-seated PTSD. You might think that I'm the guy who was saying anybody eating popcorn during the movie should go to prison. That's not the case. As always, I'm a, I'm a second-order social reactionary. So instead, I find myself being the guy who's like, well, they sell popcorn at the movie theater. What do you expect? Wait for it to come to digital video if you if you got such high standards. Verp, range up. So I can settle down. I mean, th this is very good. Um, obviously, having a holy card in reserve is, is very positive for us. Of these, it's the easiest choice of my life. Parasitoid, which I've realized now I've been calling Parasitoid Tears for quite some time. I will absolutely take. Trade offer, I receive Cat and Nine Tails. You receive essentially nothing in return. In fact, if anything, you just receive pain from the Cat of Nine Tails tears hitting you. This run is not uh, 10 out of 10 yet, but certainly like the the potential for it to grow into a winnable run definitely exists here. Hate this. Yep, I knew it was coming. It, some rooms, like, it, it's a little deceptive. You know, like, you might look at that room and be like, that's not where you want to be taking damage. Well, you're literally right. <laughs> if possible, I would prefer not to take damage on any room. Really, but, uh... Just looking at the patterns those enemies had, maybe I could have chilled out over a rock or something like that. I don't know, but it's okay. Now, if we're fighting Mega Satan, it's very simple. We it, it, This is a room, by the way, you do not want to take damage, but... Um... If we want to fight Mega Satan, we can't really uh, look at this Devil Deal. I think we're better off with the Tears upgrade. This is, I mean, yeah, I, I can, I can stand by that. I can live with that. I'm hip. I'm with it. Why don't you take me down to the next floor? And then Tainted, uh, Tainted Lazarus, miserable. Tainted Jacob, just scary. Tainted Eden, I just find myself adrift. Like if, if, if we're never gonna be able to talk about Isaac. It's a better stream character, IMO. Just because of the fact that uh, I can I can keep the banter muscles flowing a little bit easier with some help from from chat. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna make up a name for chat. You know, like like a human name. Like maybe the chat could be like Leslie. Why would I do such a thing? I don't know. It kind of legitimizes the conversation, right? Like, when I say chat, it's like, oh, you know, that's not real social interaction. But when I say, like, oh, you know, I was talking with Leslie the other day. People will be like, oh, who's, I miss the lore, who's Leslie? And so, it's just, like, 9,000 friends. Well, okay, that's a little aggrandizing. It's, like, 6,500 friends I talk with at all times. You know when Ghost in the Shell, when, um... Major, hold on, I know, you, you thought I didn't have street cred? Uh, you know in Ghost in the Shell, when, uh, spoilers by the way, spoilers for Ghost in the Shell, if you're ever gonna see that. <clears throat> it literally came out in 1995, so, like, get over it, um, but here's your spoiler warning. Y you know in Ghost in the Shell, when Major Kusanagi, um, fuses with, uh, the internet to become, uh, an omniscient, uh, cyborg super intelligence? It's kinda like that. Yeah, it's kinda like that. We should go to the shop to see if there's a holy card. I, I know what you're, you're gonna say, right? What's going on with this Ludo? Um, I'm leaving it because after years of, uh, of taking it and thinking that the problem was me, I think I've come to terms with the fact that sometimes the problem is actually Ludo. So, by the way, I think I would like to use a bomb here. Like, this bu Bombino is... He's annoying enough, right? Like... <laughs> uh, we got him, we got him. Saved our bomb as well. We got perfection. Uh, this is a gimme. You absolutely take stapler. Uh, <laughs> dude, I mean, this is, this is tough. Because Star of Bethlehem is awesome. Seven seals is really good. But you absolutely have to take Genesis, the item that lets you draft your items. Uh, and... I don't, like, we have a really good pool right now. 
But we have to try to take it one level better. Like, this is really, really good. I cannot stress enough that this is like... The, the run we have right now is potentially capable of doing what I want it to do. However... You, you gotta look. Um, <clears throat> we, I, we're gonna take Ludo, because then when we use Genesis, we'll get a draft from the item pool, which is, with especially with Tainted Lost, liable to be substantially better than Ludo. Um, and then I also think for two bombs, we should buy literally anything on the shop so that we get a choice of three shop items when we draft as well. And then that'll be that. So it, it really doesn't matter what you take. I thought restock gave us consumables, but I guess that's in Afterbirth Plus. Okay. So first, <clears throat> we, we got to say thank you because we have uh, a great trinket for one. We don't have to rest. I, I don't know. Have we taken Holy Card? Because we, we're starting from zero again on this room at least. Okay, hold on. So we, we first take Compound Fracture. Of these, honestly, I wasn't too mad about the Bara Soap. Of these, we take another Tears upgrade. Of these, we take Rune Bag. Algis can, can be quite a good helper. I don't know what's better between Squeezy and Mr. Dolly, but I feel like Mr. Dolly tends to, if for some reason, it's tickling my fancy. We're at 5.00 tiers, which to me says we're at the tiers cap. Um, so I'm going to make a, a very strange decision for me and take the backpack. Um, this is a super weird one because, again, I think we're at the tier cap. Uh, so between all these, believe it or not, I'm going to take the quarter. We can hold two items. Trinket Smelter is something. Um, this does not double the Sigil of Baphomet, as I found out in the edge case in the comments. Trinket Smelter... I, it's tough, man. I'm, I think I'm going to go Smelter on this one, but it's legitimately mighty close. We'll Smelt immediately. Um, I don't remember what Brown Cap does, so no thank you. I, I think this is like the end of our draft, by the way, or close to it. Stapler, no question. Um, I, I don't necessarily think that things got much better there. But um, I'm not disappointed. Like, I, I feel like it's still totally fine. And we're on Catacombs 2, which was... Yeah, we just left Catacombs 1. And we don't have a holy effect. Okay, good, good, good. I For all, all things considered, I certainly don't think Genesis made the run worse. Uh, I'm not super convinced it's substantially better, but I also must acknowledge I think our rate of fire is, is improved. Okay. Dude, I just love Genesis as an item. <laughs> now, you can argue all day, and, and actually, I, I'd love to hear you do it, because uh, I think this is one of the interesting things about uh, an item like Genesis, is is it actually, for me, it, it allows like the kind of backseating that I think is a lot of fun. And I know how that sounds, you're like, uh, be careful what you wish for. Uh, but keep in mind that I've been subjected to almost a decade of backseating over stuff that sometimes is consequential and would change whether or not you win or lose on a run. But literally sometimes is like, you know, you left a penny behind six floors ago. I know you've got 71 cents, but that 72nd penny might have done it. You never know. It could have been a luck upgrade. I play, played the seed and it wasn't, but it could have been. So after, after literally nine, ten years of that... Having the opportunity to literally be Monday morning quarterback and be like, yo, you should have taken Squeezy instead of Mr. Dolly because the spirit hearts don't actually matter. Squeezy gives you a point six, you know, tiers upgrade relative to the upgrade for Mr. Dolly. That's kind of like, it, it's actually like a meaningful discussion of alternatives as opposed to the norm. This room kind of sucks. This is, you know, some some pretty difficult bosses as far as uh, you know a boss trap room goes what do we get oh we got a latch key this is fine it's fine anyway what what are we doing for the rest of this run well we, we haven't really accomplished anything yet um, definitely there is a, a path to success that I think allows us I mean the rune bag Alge's rune backpack is like an engine that I look at 
for myself for like how how can we get to a run that is defensible enough to win the run um apart from that we could still use uh tier effects i mean damage is like the best tier effect of all maybe but we could we could definitely still use some hurting power steam sale i'm sure okay it's, it's certainly not bad I don't think this run, as of right now, is like a, a, an easy win. But I do think it has the chance. And that's something. And... Dude, just... Genesis, man. I'm telling you, I, I think that... Um, does it change your... Because I thought we had that pill before. Maybe Genesis changes your pill rotation and stuff? It's such a cool item. I, I, I wish, and, and this is like, we're, we're pipe dreaming here. I wish there was another mode in the game. This is so good. Um, that was like, you know, you just start Isaac and you, I don't know, like, drafting 10 items is a little too much. <laughs> what the heck is this curse room, man? <laughs> I ain't never seen this before in my life. False PhD? As long as it doesn't actually hurt us. I'm not, I'm not upset, but... So speed down for a damage up. Right now I say no to that, but... That's, that's such a bizarre curse room. Can you play the Eddy room, like, non-stop now? Surely not, right? I'll tell you, there's also some other items that are popping into my mind right now. Um, in fact, I don't think you can play the Eddy room at all that way. But, like, another item that's that's popping into my mind is, like, what if we got uh, mass AoE damage when we entered a room? Like, um, Toxic Shock or whatever, c Contamination, whatever that one is called. Um, then we'd get so much invincibility just, like, by default. You'd expect Sigil of Baphomet to, to really just pop off for us. I know, I know, Sigil of Bofa, and, yeah, okay, Mind Goblin, and etc. Let's just, come on, it's beneath us. Let's get over that. But, but some kind of, like, Isaac game mode where you could start every run by drafting a few items. You know, I'm, I'm not really... I'm concerning myself with fun first and foremost and, like, balance afterwards. But even, like, um... I don't know. I was going to say boss rush, but, like, that doesn't really appeal to me. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just spitballing, I suppose. Uh, I will play you because I have a plethora of money. I would love to see you pay out with Rodden, baby. Uh, I'm trying to think of what I, I've also any Rodden item, right? Like you can also pay out with Bob's Rodden head, which I do not want. You can pay out with Bob's brain. You can pay out with a single fly. Like there's always a single fly, of course. I I'm willing to go somewhat deep on this because we're not doing our anything with our money anyway. At least for a bit. Hey, a single spider. Thank you. Hey, a single spider. I really appreciate it. How did you know it was my birthday? And this guy, like, really pays out every third penny, huh? <laughs> it's quite reliable. One, two, three, and then we back it up. And then a one, and a two, and a three, and I back it up. Okay, so I'm, I'm realizing, by the way, for now... Uh, I don't have a bomb, so I'm a little nervous about an angel statue showing up. So I actually am going to come do this room over here. Just to see if maybe I can get a bomb. The soul... Okay, hold on. You got to look it up. Soul of Blue Baby. So Batman Soul of the Dragon review from IGN. Soul of Blue Baby Repentance. Soul of... So, soul... <clears throat> Unlockables, okay. What did we just... Blue Baby Soul? Blue... Uh, DLC? Uh, hive Baby? It, it, items. I don't know. I, I can't navigate the wiki, man. Content. Uh, this would be runes, please. Which I'm sure shows up as... Uh, Oh, we're just straight out of repentance. Soul. Soul stones. Okay, a soul for a soul. Soul of question mark, question mark, question mark. 
causes eight poison farts that leaves a trail of seven butt bombs in quick succession. Okay, seems like a good way to get ourselves killed, but also, might I dare I say, it seems like a good way to um, blow up an angel statue if we happen to get a deal with the angel. How delightful. Okay, this is, I, I'm still feeling pretty good. Like, with this run has gone just fine so far. Synth Oil is an awesome uh, upgrade for us, and I'm still looking, still looking. We should get a bomb on the next floor, which means we're, we're very unlikely to actually need uh, the Soul of Blue Baby. All right, I gave you 30 cents. You can, uh, you can get bent. We're going down here. What are we looking for? Ideally... <laughs> Dark Path, Mega Satan, and then a, a chance for Delirium after that. But, like, I don't want to get too uh, ahead of myself. But it, it certainly seems like all this stuff is still possible. I think we got a great trinket backing us up. We got good damage. I mean, this is stuff you need to have to, to have, like, any opportunity. Um, what, what would be mighty helpful is literally just... And I, I'm not asking for too much here. Literally just a second holy card would, would really help. Just just a little extra tolerance for, for taking the slightest bit of damage. And then I could start to see this one coming, coming true. And I mean, I, I got a level with you. I'm a little surprised that, at, and, and this is inviting some evil into my life, but I'm a little surprised that like how well these Tainted Lost runs have gone recently. I'm definitely, I, I do want to do that. I think we should probably just do that. Um, I'm definitely cognizant of uh, the fact that, you know, we've maybe gotten a little lucky. I'm also cognizant of the fact that we haven't won this run yet. Uh, really? Because, uh, I didn't see you there. I know it's going to seem like comedic timing, but I feel like the mask just, uh... Maybe I didn't get telefragged. It is a curse of darkness. It's kind of like what it's supposed to do is uh, irritate you, so fair enough. Range down. Can definitely absorb one of those. Range down. I can definitely absorb one of those. Don't even try it. And get out of here. Get out of here. I don't want to see the Soul of Blue Baby, because accidentally pressing Q on the keyboard might ruin me forever. I, I really... I'm scared to fight this boss before we go to the shop. And I, I think I should acknowledge that that's not smart. You know, we've seen these bosses enough in our lives. You really should stand a pretty good chance to, to torch them. Even bloat? Yes, even bloat. Not gonna use my last bomb. Let's get in there. Let's go! Okay, the, the adrenaline was pumping. We needed to save a bomb for a potential deal with the devil, even though we didn't get one. Puberty, we, we take two of those. You call me in the morning. Range down. Absolutely do not mind popping another. Question mark pill is literally the question mark pill, so we just relax. Okay, now. <laughs> Most... Oh, I hate... Rooms without combat are, like, my nightmare right now. Um, the, the most important thing is a shop. Just a little frightened. And the shop giving us a potential... Uh, holy card gets us right back into this. Right now it's not looking so good, but a shop with the holy card takes us right back to, right back to where we want to be. Now a battery baby can give us an overcharge, so there's some value there. Um, I'm sure at some point you can also get battery items there, but for the time being, I'm not worried about that. Trinket Smelter doesn't really scale super well with uh, with batteries. 
I hate this, by the way. Um, but I, I, I was about to bomb our way out. Then when I saw that we had killed one enemy, I was like, maybe it's best to just let it ride here. Thank God. <laughs> no spikes. Okay, I don't know if Wicked Crown will actually do anything for us, but that's okay. Hagalaz. Actually, Hagalaz is really useful. Uh, not on this room, obviously, but it, and, and not as much as some other runes, but at least it can blow up some skulls for us, and skulls have the potential to give us some Tinted Rocks, so there is something to be said about... or uh, to, to give us a Holy Card, so there's something to be said about that. It's fine. It's fine. Those Curse Rooms, remember, they never pay out with nine lives um, or anything like that. The the only way to get an extra life, I think, as the Keeper, is, is maybe to pick up Birthright. But still, anytime there's telefrag enemies, like that's where I, that's where I get twisted, man. That's where I, you want to, you want to make the devil shiver, show him a nice guy losing his cool. You know what I mean? As long as there's no enemies that pop out of the freaking ground like a graboid from Tremors, then we're doing okay. Holy card. Uh, no holy card. But, am I insane to think that, like, four and a half volt could be awesome here? We might need that. Horf, um, I think you just don't even risk it. Let's donate to possibly get some luck upgrades. Also, am I crazy? We should be getting uh, perfection from our next uh, boss fight, assuming we live that long. Which is, should help us out. That's one of the things that I was disappointed to lose um, when we... Uh, when we did our Genesis. I'm just gonna be honest, so I'm just gonna use the bathroom real quick and I'll see you in like a minute here. I'm just gonna pause the video. All right, I am back. You know, some games, I'm willing to do another room here. Don't, don't screw me. <laughs> some games, I'm okay harboring a 75% full bladder and just waiting till a convenient stopping point. This is not one of those times. This is a, is a pretty intense moment here. Uh, I'm, I'm willing to hoggleize this, honestly. It's, it's low potential yield, but it had been burning a hole in my pocket. Uh, you're the souls of Blue Baby, which means I hate you. Get me out of here. We'll, we'll head down to the next floor. I gotta say as well, I, I, and this is too much information, but uh, I'm, I'm happy to be, uh, to be peeing. I think you should always, you know, within reason, be happy to be peeing. But, you know, we got... This is a, a nasty room. We got some hot temperatures in Vancouver, and honestly, I feel like I had uh, maybe been a little bit dehydrated. Like, I, I had, like, a multiple-day headache. And I, I'm an idiot is the first thing you should know about this. Because, like, whenever uh, my wife tells me, like, oh, I don't really feel right, I'm like, oh, did you have any water today? It's the first thing that pops into my head, right? And then when I get a little bit of a headache, I'm like, no, you wouldn't understand. It's uh, ch changing uh, atmospheric pressure and also, oh, I think my blood sugar is like a little bit up and down. So like before bed last night, after, after nursing this 48 hour headache for a bit, I um, just drank like a liter of water. Didn't wake up at all during the night, which I think is a sign that we probably <laughs> needed the, <laughs> the water. Um, you're safe here. And now I, I feel right as rain today. Who would have thought? Algis? Okay, now we're, now we're talking, man. Now we're talking. I don't think there's, like, really a reason um, to play the... Or to, to get the torn photo. It might break the tear cap, but, like, I'm not confident in that. Um... Keep in mind, by the way, I know we got a good angel setup thing going here, but we could try to fight the beast. It's not really helpful there. That would have killed us were it not for Sigil of Baphomet, but, you know, we do have Sigil of Baphomet, so I don't know what you want me to say. <laughs> okay, okay. We're fishing for that holy... Did we already have that? I don't think so. I, the, you should remember. Okay, now we have it. Um, either way, the, it feels good. I, I think we didn't need that. I, I don't think we needed to pop that, I should say. 
Yeah, the visual effect didn't change. Life life goes on. We still have an algae's rune. It's like we, we have a, a bad holy card in our inventory. Um, I'm not sweating it. We're looking for another holy card from the shop now. Either way, I've removed uh, some uncertainty for myself. You know what? Uh, for for the intro for Leslie's health here, uh, I'm gonna remove that fly from the situation because things looked very scary there. And I'll be straight up with you. Restock is a 10 out of 10 tainted lost item if you have money, because literally you can just reroll the cards. Keeping in mind, there's a uh, a 10% chance for a card to be uh, the holy card. But on average, it will take you less than 10 rolls to get to that because of the way that binomial distributions work. I wouldn't expect you to understand, but Leslie taught me the other day. But binomial distributions, the idea that, yeah, there's a 10% chance, but you also need to keep in mind that you don't just flat roll it 10 times because, you know, there's a chance you get it on your first one, which means that the next one only has a 90% chance to have a 10% chance and a 10% chance to not need a percent chance. Um, this, this is branded smeltable. I don't even remember what Mom's Locket does, but it's smeltable. We have no cards for sale. May God have mercy on your soul. We can absorb a range down. I still don't want to absorb a speed down. Um, we can absorb a luck down for damage because we're about to get perfection. I don't feel comfortable doing that and I don't knowing that speed. What else are we going to do with our money? We don't need to hold two trinkets. Oh, uh, no. We, well, we could hold two trinkets. Um, because we're, we're not going to have a charge for, and also, yes, we could just continue to buy more items, I suppose. That's a, that's a pretty valid point. <clears throat> yeah, that's a pretty valid point. Um, you never know what we could get here. Like, a birthright would, would really hit the spot. Battery charge, not worth it. IMO. Sorry, donation machine. Chaos, also... Excuse me. Oh, I was, yeah, I was like, where's my trinket smelter? Um, Chaos, I also think, is, do is not worth it. But I will admit that Chaos does give us uh, cards when you buy it. Which had me thinking. Had me thinking a certain sort of way. Dude, Sigil of Baphomet is actually kind of unbelievable. Um, this is, we did not get perfection. I, because we're doing Dark Path, we take the negative, which we like anyway. We don't care about the soul of Jacob and Esau. We're hoping that you're Krampus. Um, now we have to make a decision. <laughs> because there's no guarantee we'll even get our other keepies. And these items would do a lot to help us beat the Dark Path. But I still say no. And I know how this is going to look. I know how it's gonna look. Throw, throw, throw. Shut up, Leslie. I'm driving the bus here. I believe that we... Don't need Lusty Blood. That would have been our pickup there. I believe that we don't need Lusty Blood to win this run, no matter what. So the, the consequence of not taking it is lower than it appears. Secondarily, I believe, and this one is not based on confidence, really. This one is based on hunch, which is meaningless. But I believe we will get the deal with the angel we seek. And thus, not guarantee it, but thus have an opportunity. I'm not willing to do that. Uh... Although I think that we have to go this way anyway. I, I believe thusly we will have an opportunity to uh, to win this run the way that we intended. But I wouldn't mind getting another holy card. If we get another holy card, there's like a flow chart that comes from that. I, I feel comfortable using my Algis rune to then fight for those two golden chests. And who knows what we get from those two golden chests and you know so on and so forth. 
This obviously, like, again, I must give a lot of cred credit to Sigil of Baphomet. Shoop the Whoop is also awesome. Um, is kind of what I asked for, honestly. Which was, like, AoE damage when we enter a room. It's not going to charge as quickly as I, I want it to. I think 4.5 Volt probably works against us on that one. But that's okay. Soul of Blue Baby. Are you kidding me? Like, it's just a... <laughs> Are you broken? Are you okay? Do you need help? This room doesn't scare me too much. Again, as long as... Like, weak... A supply of weak enemies is insanely useful. For just keeping us... As... As... Maybe not invincible... But as invincible as possible. Like, even this room, I don't know. I didn't see if we, we got hit, but... One thing's for certain, I would have been a little bit more stressed out if we didn't have Sigil of Baphomet helping us out here. Just waiting for that holy card. I'm, I'm starting to get tickled here. I'm starting to think that there's, there's a chance that this works out, which is... Hope is a dangerous thing in this game, you know? There's a lot of stuff on the screen. Very easy for, you know, two errant shots to come in and, and ruin your life. But either way, I, I certainly feel like there is a chance. All chests are golden chests via this. I'm okay with that for now. This, I'm just, I'm literally just popping it because this guy, this is what he does. Like, this is, his whole thing is ruining um, your, your amazing runs. Uh, we, we now have to make another decision. We can at least go into the room and look. Oh, no, we don't have to make a decision. So this, this decision has been made for me. We'll definitely still take this. That's totally fine. Soul of the Lost, I suppose. It gives us Holy Mantle for, like, a room, right? Maybe we, in a pinch, we could use that. I think we can also smelt, uh... Gilded here if if we want to and by the way again if, if I don't get the uh, Deal with the angel and now the chances are, are definitely that it won't happen um, That's the prevailing probabilistic worldview here Will I be disappointed? I didn't take lusty blood. Well, it depends if I very Narrowly lose the fight to the lamb Then yes, it would be dishonest to say like because in my head, I would be like, that made all the difference. Um, Lusty Blood would have won us that run. But if we beat the lamb, or we get our butt kicked on the lamb or in advance, then no, it wouldn't have made a difference at all. I think it's important to tease that stuff out there, you know? Tainted Empress card Repentance. Cards and runes. Okay. Empress. Uh... It, it gives you, as Tainted Lost, it seems like it gives you a Tears upgrade for a room. Okay. Is it better than Soul of the Lost? Probably not. But I also don't understand how or when to use Soul of the Lost in this context. So, I... <laughs> Oh, that that could have that would have been a nasty way to go. So I don't know is the answer, but what I do know is we did just get ourselves a holy card, and we can hold it, even though I'm I'm looking at myself, and is playing a trick on me because I'm like I don't think we have the effect active. I have to trust myself, and because now your mind starts playing tricks on you, right? It starts to go like, oh, maybe I did take a hit and I didn't notice it earlier. It, it's been known to happen. And everyone's in your head. You're like, everyone's screaming in the comments. You took a hit. You took a hit. And you're like, I just come on. Just let me think about it for a second. Okay, that was bad. Uh, actually, it worked out completely fine. But for a second, I was I was a little scared there. Great four and a half volt. Oh my god, <laughs> he's a genius. <laughs> okay, get get these blue fires out of here. 
I don't want to see you. I'm willing to spend the bombs to make it happen. So that's Eden's soul. Um, with with four and a half volt, it seems like maybe that beats Trinket Smelter for us at this point. Might as well at least give it a try. And then Eden's soul pays out with the item of the pool on the room in which you use it. Which for me means that the best thing you can do with this is pop it on a secret room and hope for the best. Or, or the angel room for sure, but if we could just get it charged up and then use it on a secret room here, there's so many items in those pools that, that do amazing work for us. That I, I'm, I'd, I'd be willing to be pretty stoked. There's a charge. We're getting there. Again, I don't really totally understand how 4.5 volt works, but we're getting there. I'm, the, the boss trap room legitimately might give us some good stuff as well. There's booster pack, man. It's like, I kind of think we got to do it. I'm very scared. Just hold the holy card. I mean, I'm, I'm trying. <laughs> I'm not trying to dump it. I'm just like... <laughs> Certainly, like, a lot of stuff going on here that I want to get out in front of. Okay, this is, like, an insanely annoying enemy, as mentioned many times. But if you can just... Yeah, yeah, there's some invincibility for you. We sneak in. We do some shots because minions are dying. Do we have some invincibility over that period? This is quite helpful. Remember, he'll spit out a bomb at you. Okay, this, that sucked. I greatly regret doing this room in the first place. But here we are, okay. Two of hearts, useless. I.E. use. Queen of hearts, useless. Magician, useful, but. Lover's card, doesn't, the, the lover's card gives us magic skin, right? The tainted lover's card. <laughs> okay, taint, like, lover's. Spawn... Okay, hold on. Potentially fatal. No downside for any character who has no health bar. Are you seeing what I'm I'm seeing here to try to make this work? If this kills us, I blame the wiki. I just want that to be made clear. So we're going to take this into the secret room. And I'm, I'm back on my BS, man. Like, this is this is madness, but here I am. That's blank card, which does not work with runes anymore, but that's okay. Then we use Eden Soul. Shielded Tears, very good. What the heck is Mega Mush? If you'll excuse me, I'm going to look that up. Mega Mush Repentance. It's an activated item. Gigantifies Isaac for 30 seconds. Become invulnerable to damage. Get 4x damage multiplier and plus 7 range, but your tears get worse. Deal, deals extremely heavy contact damage. Become invulnerable for 30 seconds. Th 30 seconds is a long time. Okay, so in theory, we can walk into enemies while this is active. Do we care about blank card in this context? I think the answer to the question is no. No, I don't think we care about blank card in this context. Uh, never mind, we have blank card, holy card. I'm an idiot. Why did I think that would only be affected by runes? Anyway, hold it. Queen of Hearts, Arrow Walk, which could give us more cards. No, that's Ancient Recall. This just slows things down. And the Magician. Okay, so, here, so here's what you do, okay? And this could still be quite a long run yet. Let me caffeinate. We dump Shoop the Whoop for blank card. I think, personally, I, I'm guessing Mega Mush doesn't persist between rooms. Also, please remember you're going down here. Um, but Mega Mush makes you invulnerable. So, Genesis always makes you go up. Okay, this is now, it's not that bad. But, 
Thank God we got that angel statue so at least we can fight Mega Satan. You could make me feel a lot better about this if you give me the delirium chance. Okay? That's all I'm going to say about that. So we pop this. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, 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 no, no, no. Then I'm like, we switch back to this because I think it'll get charged in the interim period. What the heck is going on? Okay. Um, leave the room. It persists. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. So we want holy card, obviously. Soul of I Come on. Come on, dude. You want holy card? And then just get the heck out of here. I'm worried. Yeah, when it fades away, I'm a little worried. Do we still have the holy card effect? To me, it certainly looks like we do. Okay. There's a lot to process on this run, man. You, you legitimately might be thinking that I'm, like, disappointed by how this is going down. You really couldn't be further from the truth. Um, we got... I think it's a glitch, for one. Secondarily, though, like... Even if it's not a glitch, it's a very understandable error to accidentally... Uh, and again, we're just <laughs> ignoring all the, the surplus of rooms or runes we get. Um... But it's a very understandable error to forget that Genesis forces you to go through the cathedral, even if you go uh, to the dark side path. So I'm, I'm not upset about that, like, literally at all. What's the rune? Perthro? Awas. Just, it would have been interesting if that opened up the, uh, the shoal door somehow. But, um, so yeah, genuinely not upset. And then on top of that... We got some amazing items. We've had a lot of fun. And this has been a heck of a tainted lost run. This this is not via holding the R key. You know, this this run just in and of itself has taken us on quite a journey, wouldn't you say? We also have blank card, holy card, and then mega mush, which renders us literally invincible. Alongside also having um, Sigil of Baphomet, which renders us like functionally invincible. So, and the other great thing about this, I'm, I'm being totally sincere, is that we can just pop Mega Mush. Sorry, get your cursor off the screen there. We can literally just pop Mega Mush straight away on the Mega Satan fight. Enjoy the copious amounts of damage upgrades that will happen. I mean, I, I'm sure we could use it right now and just render us immune to damage, but I can already be rendered... <laughs> immune to damage just by playing the game well. Uh, blank card, holy card, two room charge, which is a little scuffed thanks to uh, four and a half volt, but still. You can really see the charge speed on that one. So we have the holy effect active. No, no need to panic. No, no need to panic. You get hit again, you just press the space bar. I guess maybe Perfection can't drop twice on the same run. Is that what's going on here? Per throw. Look, I could go back. I'm not going to concern... Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya!